Hello, welcome to another EM uh, creation tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement a linear search in PHP. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start NetBeans. Uh, click in here. Um, a linear search is a way to search through an array or another uh, another construct that's like an array and to find a value. Linear search is the simplest and easiest to implement uh, search algorithm and is pretty much the fastest way to search for an unsorted uh, list or array. So once it gets started, once NetBeans got started, I'm going to open up my first project, which is what I use for all my tutorials. <coughs> it's going to take a minute to load. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to start a ZAMP. Start ZAMP. Um, <coughs> Okay, my first project is now loaded. I'm going to go to source files. I'm going to create a new folder called algorithms. Uh, and here I'm going to create a new file, PHP file called searches. Because I'll make another tutorial soon uh, how to use it, how to create a binary search algorithm. But for now, I'm just going to show linear search. So. <coughs> Once you've created this uh, PHP file, I'm now going to create a new function called linear search. Uh, the function is going to take two parameters. We're going to have the array that we're looking through, and the value that we're going to that we're trying to find. So to find. Uh, once you've done this, we need to create a loop, um, a for each loop. This will loop through every element in the array and check if its value matches the value which you're trying to find. So for each uh, ar uh, array as key, because we need the key to return to the user, um, the key and then the value. It's very simple. All we have to do is we have to go if val equals equals to find. So if the element we're currently looking at in the array is the value of what we're trying to find, then we return the key, because we return the index of the element that we found the value at. Um, after the for each, so under here, we're going to return minus one. What this will do is, if we haven't found the value in the loop, uh, in, in the array, sorry, it won't return anything unless we put this. So we're going to put minus one. Mi minus one means we, we couldn't find the value. So now to test this algorithm, we're going to make an array. I'm going to call it my array. And I'm going to put some values in it. So orange, lemon, pear, apple, uh, Uh, lime, and then I'm going to call the method. I'm going to print the output of the function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print linear search. Uh, my array is what we're looking through, and I'm going to try and find where pair is in the uh, array. So it should be position two. So orange is zero, lemon is one, pear should be two. So it should output two. If I now go here and I go to my test server under algorithms, searches, it outputs two because pair is at position two in the array. So we found that linear search works. Um, I'll now try and find lemon. That should be position one. Zero, one should be lemon. Refresh. It's one. Now I'm going to try looking for something that isn't in the array. So, uh, kiwi returns minus one because kiwi isn't in the array. So it's gone through looking for the value. It couldn't find the value, so it returned minus one. Uh, that is how you implement a linear search in PHP. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, this really is the best way of searching for an unsorted list because these aren't in any particular value they're not in alphabetical value in, in, alpha, in an alpha, ordered alphabetically or anything like that so the only way we can do it is go through each element in the array and see if the value matches
Um, binary search, I'll, sh I'll create a tutorial on how to implement that soon, but that only works for a uh, sorted list, but it can be significantly quicker than a linear search for sorted list. So I'll put this code up on my website and put a link in, uh, but that's all for now. Bye.